Hello Lensvid fans and welcome back to another video where today we're going to look at this Desklab portable monitor and what it can do for content creators, videographers and photographers. A few months ago we got an early sample of a very interesting portable touch monitor called Desklab. This unit was part of a very successful Kickstarter campaign which raised almost $700,000 earlier this year. And in this review, we wanted to find out how useful it can be for photographers, videographers, and content creators. Before we start, we need to clarify something. The Desk Lab comes in two versions, one with a 1080p panel and the other one with a 4K one. Both versions are more or less identical, aside from the panel, and initially we thought that we were going to test the 4K version, but apparently when the unit was sent to us, they were all out of 4K versions, so this review will cover the 1080p unit, which, as we will show you, is still very sharp. The monitor has a viewable area of 15.6 inches across and the unit itself is almost 36 centimeters wide by 22 centimeters tall with fairly thin bezels on three of the sides. The desk lab is very thin, only one centimeter at its thickest part and it's also very light at about 725 grams. On the right side there are four ports, a micro USB for connecting accessories such as a keyboard or a mouse, two USB-C connectors for data and power, and a mini HDMI port. On the left side, there is a power button, a 3.5mm headphone jack, and a small clickable scroll wheel for going through the menus. The bottom of the unit has two speakers, and the back has the Desk Lab logo on a very nice dark textured finish. The back also has a notch to support the optional stand. Besides some of the obvious things that you can do with this kind of touch monitor, such as a second screen for general productivity work, using it as a larger screen for your smartphone, gaming, and watching Netflix videos. There are quite a few photo and especially video related applications that such a monitor can provide and that we have tested. One helpful way that you can use this monitor is as a secondary larger screen for when you're shooting videos and stills, even though it doesn't support any monitoring tools, but it's much larger so you can use it to help find focus and composition. And if you want to rig it up and use it as a director's monitor, that's also an option. When it comes to sharpness, even our 1080p panel desk lab looked good, so we can only imagine how sharp the 4K version can be. When we compared the desk lab to our port keys BM5 monitor, we noticed that the desk lab had a way narrower viewing angle, the colors were not very accurate, and the maximum brightness was way lower than the BM5. But of course that monitor has 2000 nits of brightness, so this isn't a very fair comparison. All in all, this display was not designed with professional video monitoring in mind, but you can still use it as a secondary display in a number of different scenarios. One thing that you cannot do with it at the moment, but they may add this in the future, is the use of touch capability of the monitor to control the camera's touch focus feature. We have already talked to Sony about adding this, and although we're not sure if this is technically possible with the current Sony cameras, it could be a really nice addition. Talking about the touch capabilities of the desk lab takes us to the second use case for this monitor as a secondary computer screen for content creators. We tested this application with several different PCs and it has some limitations. We needed separate power and data cables and the touch capability had some issues especially when extending the screen on Windows 10. The Desk Lab is a very attractive offer for anybody looking for a light, large, thin and portable screen with touch capabilities. For photographers and content creators, this Desk Lab monitor can be very useful in many different scenarios, both when shooting and doing post-production work and in any general application. The screen is really light and portable, it is solidly built and with lots of connections and decent sharpness and brightness for indoor use. When it comes to drawbacks, we're not big fans of the optional magnetic stand. And for photographers having to find a bracket that's big enough with a quarter inch 20 is going to be hard. We did find a workaround which did the job for us, but wasn't ideal. Maybe the biggest issue aside from having to mount this big screen is the fact that it has no internal battery, which means you always have to connect it to a power supply like a computer or a hefty power bank. For desk work, this may not be a big issue, but if you have to move around a lot, this can get a little bit more complex. From our experience, the touch features are also hit and miss. Not so much because of Desk Lab, but because of poor OS implementation, which we could only hope will improve over time. As for pricing, the 1080p version that we used currently sells for $300, while the 4K version goes for $400. 
So that was our review of this 15.6 inch portable monitor by Desk Lab. Check out the full review on our website at lensvid.com. Subscribe to our channel and come back for more videos coming soon. Is as a. No. It's just a. Is as a. <clears throat> maybe the biggest issue is the lack of an eternal. Eternal battery, yeah. Eternal battery. That would be, that would be amazing. Yeah, I want, I want it.